if we think of this as a as a road trip analogy uh, we set the destination we have to plug into the gps uh, saying i'm going to get to xyz place once that is set then and only then can we actually navigate the path right we can create that roadmap to achieving that that destination that outcome Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tanner O'Brien. I'm a senior partner here at Action Coach in Central Texas, and I'm coming back at you with a little bit more on talking about destination or setting kind of that final point within our business, you know, the date and time in which that our business is finished. So if you haven't seen my previous video or, our, or the previous video here on destination, make sure you go check out the channel. Uh, there's a, a lot of great content on that one. I went pretty deep on some, some basics when it comes to setting the destination in your business. Um, but I want to finish out that conversation this week and kind of take a step back and talk about, you know, difference between the vision in our business and the mission of our business. Uh, so we, we talked a little bit about destination. That's really the vision, right? We're casting the vision for where our business is going long term. And, you know, the importance of that is, you know, that we, we, we have to know where we're going in order to, to, to route the map to get there. That was kind of the, the topic and the, the, the big piece of the conversation last week. So when we think about this, the vision really is, uh, you know, the, the roadmap, the, or excuse me, is the, the destination. The mission statement then is our roadmap to get there. So the vision is, you know, if we think of this as a, as a road trip analogy, uh, we set the destination. We have to plug into the GPS uh, saying, I'm going to get to XYZ place. Once that is set, then and only then can we actually navigate the path, right? We can create that roadmap to achieving that, that destination, that outcome. Now, what's cool about it is, uh, I don't know about you, but I type, you know, destination into my GPS. It'll usually give me a couple different options, right? So I could go this direction. I could go this direction, go over this way and then come up, right? This one's a little bit slower. This one's a little bit faster. This one's got some traffic. This one's got, you know, you know more through the inner city, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of different ways to get to the same ultimate destination. In our business, it's the same thing. We get to chart the course and start to make you know adjustments along the way. So in in this analogy, we're we're going through to achieve our destination. We get in the car and we start to drive, and all of a sudden there's a road closure, there's an accident, there's traffic that we weren't expecting. There's these things that happen in our business. And what we get to do is we get to change course, right? It reroutes us. It takes a detour. It says, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And now all of a sudden we're still on to that same path, but the roadmap just changed slightly, but it's guided by, you know, the statement of we're going to achieve this by going through here, our mission. Likewise, we, we go through that and all of a sudden, I don't know about you, I got young kids. Uh, eventually they're going to say, dad, when can we get out of the car? You know, my legs are restless. I need to run around. I'm hungry. I need to go to the bathroom. You know, all sorts of different things that come up that way. And it's like, all right, well, now I need to stop here and I need to do this again, all changing on the go as we continue to navigate that path forward. So very simple way to kind of think about vision and mission in your business. Vision is that destination. Where are we headed? What's the big thing that we can enroll all of our team members and our customers and everybody into? What are we striving to achieve? And then the mission statement is here's how we're going to get there. Here's what matters to us along the journey. And then finally, you want to take it a step further and say culture. So what is culture in this analogy? Well, that essentially is what's the vibe in the car, right? What does that feel like? What music is on? What snacks did we take on the road? Um, who did we choose to, to bring along the journey? That ultimately kind of is the culture. And I don't know about you. For me, that has been one of the simplest, easiest ways to kind of conceptualize a tactical application of vision, mission, and culture within a business. So. That's kind of step one. Step two, then, is we start to get even more tactical. How do we actually go about setting this destination um, and, and how do we achieve the path to get there? So in in one of our videos, and maybe I'll link to it uh, in, in the video here, uh, we talk about the five ways, right? So the five ways is really the, the, the main core areas that we can actually have impact on and, and do something about when it comes to generating more profit. 
And you know, we always joke that when we talk to most business owners, usually they can tell us how much, you know, how many customers they've had, what's their revenue, and ultimately, did they have any profit or not? You know, it could be over the last month, could be over the last year. But during a time period, usually we can come up to those. But if I were to say, hey, Mr. Business Owner or Mrs. Business Owner, uh, I need you to go make more profit next year. Okay, what am I supposed to do to just start generating more profit? I'd love to do that. It's an output. It's an outcome of, of the other factors. So we talk about the five ways being uh, profit margins, average dollar sale, number of transactions, conversion rate, and leads five different areas, right? So essentially, if we kind of break this down from top to bottom, we have number of leads and conversion rate. Those two things multiplied together is going to give you number of customers, number of customers, and then you take number of transactions or number of times they buy from you. Average dollar sale, how much do they spend on average each time that that customer comes in, you take customers times those two numbers. Now you have revenue or total sales. Your revenue times your profit margins gives you profit. So we break it out into the five different areas. Now we can actually do something. All right, I need to increase my lead flow. What are two, three, four things I can do to increase my lead flow? Okay, I need to increase my conversion rate. What are one, two, three things I can do to increase my conversion rate? Work on each of those two things and our customer number will continue to rise. Now we do the same thing for number of transactions, average dollar sale, et cetera. So that's a very high level component of it. But as we talk about destination and where we're headed in business, it's important to understand this framework because it works in reverse. So if I'm able to sit down and say, all right, my business needs to be done by X date and on X date, in order for it to be finished, it needs to be doing this much in free cash flow, which means it needs to be doing this much in profitability, which means it needs to have what, right? So if I need this much in profitability, then what do I need in sales? Well, here's kind of what our current uh, profit margins are. It's reasonable to think we can get a little bit better at that. All right, now I can do the math backwards, right? So let's say our profit margins today are, are uh, 25%. It's reasonable to get to 30% and there's a few different tactics and strategies we can deploy in order to make that happen. Well, if we're going to get to 30%, we know that we need a million dollars in profit. We can take a million dollars divided by the 30% and that gives us our sales number, our revenue number, right? We start to backtrack into it. And then you continue to do the same thing for average dollar sale, number of transactions to get our customers. And then from customers, we do the same thing with conversion rate and leads. Now what this does, it gives you a picture of what the business needs to look like when it's finished. It's not just the net income number or the profitability number. It's net income number and here's the revenue and here's the number of customers and here's the number of leads and here's what my conversion rate needs to be. And now I can tactically start to map out the path and the plan to get there. And that is the big key. So Highly encourage you to go in and check out the five ways videos, uh, really understand kind of what that concept looks like. And then I want you to come back and kind of start to map this out for your business and answer kind of these next couple of questions. The first one, if you haven't done it already, when actually putting a date and time down, will your business operate without you? That's kind of the first exit within your business. While you may choose to continue to work in the business, be a part of the business, at what point, what day and time will it work without the need to have you there so that you can take time off? That it can operate if you were to you know, have to go take care of a loved one for six months out of the year, something like that, right? So that's question number one. Question number two then is, what does the business look like when it's done? That takes us all the way back to you know, the conversation we just had with the five ways. What does it what does it look like? How big does the business need to be? How many different locations? How many team members? What's the revenue? What's the customer number? Like all of these things start to map that out. So you have a very, very clear picture of what done looks like in your business. The clearer that picture becomes, the easier it is for you to actually go and accomplish it. The next three questions are going to be all specifically time based. So the first one, what does your business look like three years from now? For some of you that are watching this, maybe the three year time frame is the same as done. For others, maybe done is five years, so then what is three years? But do the same thing. What does your business look like three years from now? And then take it a step further, or a step closer, I guess, in reality. What does the business look like one year from now? 12 months from today, what does your business need to look like? And then take it 90 days from now. What does it need to look like 90 days from now to put you on a path that's going to allow you to achieve the, the ultimate goals for one year from now 
and the one year as long as we're at these checkpoints it'll put us on a path for the three years and then ultimately towards the what the business look like when it's done so remember cast the vision set that destination point really understand the clarity behind where you're taking your business then we can map the route then we can get into the mission of how do we actually get to the destination that we want to go clarify that and i guarantee you your business will continue to grow and get better because when we have clarity we can run really fast if you have any questions always feel free to reach out uh, share this comment below would happy to get in some discussion and and help you all continue to grow and and build amazing businesses that one day can work so that you don't have to my name is Dan O'Brien. We're here with Action Coach in Central Texas. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.